Hey everyone, welcome to Stellaris. So I thought I would make a get started video to show you guys what to do to um, kind of get into the game. More easily, so I'm sort of playing on Wolf 2.32, so it's the newest version as far as I'm concerned. So first of all we're going to come down to here and click new game. Then at the left here, this is a list of uh, different civilizations that you can be. You can create your own by going to the top and clicking create new, or else you can click random. You guys actually might want to do ran might want to create a new civilization because I usually do, so that's quite fun. So I'm going to click create new, go select. Now again, here are a list of um, all the different species um, that you can be. Now basically, there are two kinds of species. Um, that are really different. So we've got biological, which is pretty much all of them, and we've got machine. So if you're machine, you have to be a um, machine intelligence, which is, you don't need to worry too much about that, but basically it um, kind of changes the way the game works. Um, I actually think machine intelligence is probably a bit simpler. So let's um, be a machine intelligence, okay? So we're going to choose these guys, okay, going to randomly generate the name, you can put in whatever name you want, um, let me have a look here, so we're a machine, so we don't have to if you don't want to, but these are basically the names that appear in the game, okay, so we're going to go for machine one, and then you're going to select the traits, now don't worry too much about this if you're new to the game, um, I would just suggest we you choose something like um, logical engines, okay? No, um, how many points do we have? Just select double jointed, okay? So this doesn't really matter too much, but this is um you know nice and simple, so everything's going to be default. The machines are probably easier than the um, organic um, players. Oh, sorry, the organic species. So again, just basically click next. Now you see on the left here, um, some things that are in white, those are acceptable, and some things are in red, okay? So red mean that you need to change something. So we are a machine empire, so that means we have to be just digital consciousness, okay? And we have to be machine intelligence, okay? Um, so it, again, it doesn't really matter which of these that you choose, obviously when you get into the game a bit more, it kind of matters um, a lot more, but right now we're just going to go for Rock Breakers, and we are going to go for, uh, what should we go for, <clears throat> Unitary Cohesion, again these obviously affect the way that the game plays, so these are the traits that your civilization will have. So Rock Breakers gives you bonus minerals, and Unitary Cohesion just gives you more influence. But again, don't worry about that, it's fine. Again, we're going to go down to Empire Name, because it's in red here. We're just going to click the dice, we'll put in whatever name you want. Ship Appearance, again, doesn't really matter, but we're a machine intelligence, so mammalian ships, maybe. But again, there's no um, machine intelligence chips. It would be kind of cool if they were um, cubes like the Borg or whatever, but I guess they're not. Um, there's probably a mod for it. Again, um, come down to here, which is the last one, Ruler. You can also click here to move down. Then we're just going to click Next, and it'll keep going through like this. Okay, we're at the end. And we're going to click Save, okay. We've saved this new um, race, okay. And we're going to click Done. Now we come to this screen, you can probably leave this screen um, how it is, but <clears throat> basically what we're going to do, because this is learning, we are going to go down to difficulty, and you want to click on cadet, okay? So cadet is the um, easiest difficulty, don't worry too much about the other settings, okay? And I'm going to go for a small um, galaxy size, okay? Um, Everything else can basically be left the same. And you're going to click play. So, Cadet's the easiest um, difficulty, 
but it's good to sort of learn with, I guess. So when this pops up, um, this is like the backstory of the species. Because I didn't enter one, it's been automatically generated, okay? So we're gonna click begin. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the interface, okay? So down the left here, you've got like various different things. Now, if you click on the bottom here, uh, okay, so you click on the left here, so it's selected to unlock, okay? Now, when you scroll over it, you get lists of all the different panels, okay? You don't need to worry about this too much right now. Um, but uh, yeah, these are. So, for example, if we click on contacts, these are the enemy. Uh, sorry, these are the other species that we've discovered in the um, universe, but there's none at the moment. So, let's get back to the game and jump right in. First thing you're going to want to do is click on this button down here, which is Galaxy Map, okay? This will take you to the Galaxy Map. Then, if you want to go back into that screen, you can double click on the planet here, okay? That'll take you back in. So, this is the zoomed out view. And you can use the mouse wheel here to um, zoom out and have a look at the um, galaxy that you're in. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is, if you look at the right of the screen, you'll see you've got one construction ship, one science ship. These are your um, attack ships, but you don't need to worry about them right now. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the science ship, okay? which will bring this up. You want to come down to survey, okay? Click it once. Now hold shift, hold it down, and you want to click. Okay, basically the areas um, around, are like you want to click on these stars here, okay? Now bear in mind the game is paused, so you're not gonna see anything happening at the moment. <clears throat> so that'll do. Um, so now we're going to click this off and click on the screen here, right, or where anywhere, to basically um, hide the ship. So now what the science ship's going to do is it's going to go out and it's going to explore um, or survey these different planets so we can find out what, what's happening on the planets and what materials they have. I've just pressed spacebar. Spacebar starts the game, stops the game, okay? On the right of your keyboard, you probably see a plus and a minus above the enter key. You might have a different keyboard, I don't know. But pressing the plus key speeds up the game. Press it twice and it's at maximum speed. Pressing minus slows the game down, okay? So I normally have the game going more quickly. So next thing to do is look up to the top here. You've got um, your research, okay? So we're going to click on the research tab up here and you can see they're all empty at the moment so we want to click on this top one and you want to select some kind of research now generally speaking I like to um, click on bonus research um, first of all because it will speed up our research by 20% in physics so this is physics this is society and this is engineering these are the three kinds of research that we can do Okay, brilliant. Now, to close this tab, we're gonna click the X. If you wanna bring it up again, okay, let's go through the interface. So at the top here, we have um, energy credits, okay? Now, these are kind of money and energy. It's kind of interesting that they've kind of chosen money and energy being the same thing. Next is um, minerals, okay? So minerals are used for, you know, constructing um, various things in the game. We've got food next because we're a um, robot empire, sorry, a, a sort of um, consciousness. We've got no food because robots don't need to eat. Also, our consumer goods are zero because robots don't need consumer goods. Oh, but actually they do sometimes, but uh, in this particular game they don't because we're a um, machine intelligence. Next, we've got alloys. Alloys are used for building ships and space stations and things, okay? You don't need to remember all of this, um, you'll kind of get it, pick it up. Next we've got influence. 
So influence, um, if you click on it, it brings up a menu related to influence. Influence basically means you can add modifiers to your empire. So you can, for example, get um, a bonus production or whatever it is. And next we've got unity. Now, unity basically um, adds modifiers to your empire. But again, um, this is fairly self-explanatory. I'd recommend going for expansion first. Though a lot of people like to go for supremacy first if they're going to be fighting wars, but expansion is probably best for building planets and stuff. So we don't have enough um, unity points at the moment to do anything. Anyway, if, as you play along I'm sure you'll sort of learn um, how everything is sort of working. So again, these are the notifications along here. So I'm going to click on um, traditions, right? This is from our Unity, so we can select one. So I'm going to select the Expansion. It's going to cost us 300 Unity. I'm going to click Yes. And this has said um, Colony Development Speed is increased by 25%. And that's good. Okay. So, okay, if we look at the screen here, <clears throat> you might notice that... Um, We've got these um, minerals here in white, so two energy, two mineral, and two engineering. Engineering is one of the um, types of um, research. Again, if you want to bring up a research tab, just click up here, and that gives you a drop down. Just um, click on the drop down, and it'll, this will bring up. Okay, these all um, you know take various amounts of time to research. So now what we're going to do, we're going to click on the construction ship, right, which looks like this. Or you can select it from here. And we want to hold shift again, okay. We want to right click. And we want to left click on build mining stations. Now, still holding shift, do it again. You'll see that there's now an X next to there. So this is um, going to build the mining station, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, so now, still holding shift, then I left click on build research station. Okay, brilliant. Now, I'm going to right click on here, I'm going to select build star base outpost. Okay, so what this is going to do, it's going to build um, the mines around the planet. First of all, then it's going to build the research. So let's have a look at it go. So at the moment, it's so this is our um, construction ship. Okay, so it's busy building things um, in here. To select to follow it, I just um, double clicked on here. Okay, now it's building um, some research stuff. Okay, and sort of see it it's slowly appearing. I mean, we don't normally watch these things, we just let them get on with it, really. But, uh, again, to zoom out again, click down here. So now, if I were to just randomly click up here with it, it would go up here. So let's just do that. So again, I right-clicked, said move there. And we don't want it to move there, so we're going to click here. Now it's going to stay still and do nothing. So we want it to... It's basically built the um, built what it was told to. So now we're going to get it to build the um, starbase again. Okay. Again, don't worry about what you're researching too much. You'll kind of get the hang of it later in the game. You can see that the science ship is doing things because it's in blue up here. And the construction ship's also in blue, which means it's doing something. These are in green. If I move, click there, you'll sort of see um, a symbol that it's moving now. So I'm going to click there. We don't want them to move anywhere. These are, let's have a look at these. These are our, um, off, well, defensive, offensive ships. So they can move to different areas and make an attack for you. Um, let's have a look at the interface here. So we've got orbital bombardment. Um, 
this is how it attacks a planet. If you click on this, it changes to indiscriminate, which means it does more damage, but it also might kill civilians. Or selective, so with selective, it'll just damage the defenses, but it's a bit slower. Um, fleet stance is passive at the moment, um, which means it won't engage in combat unless someone attacks it. We can change that to aggressive. Now if an enemy comes close, the enemy will attack it, okay. So how do we build... I got asked the question, how do we build a um, outpost, okay. <clears throat> so, okay, um, if you look here and click the white button next to the name, it brings up the um, station screen, okay. Now, this is the station which orbits this planet, okay. So again, yeah, this is the station which is appearing here. You've got different tabs at the bottom, defensive, um, shipyard. Now, if your station has a shipyard, which is something that you build, so I could click on the solar panels and I could click shipyard. Um, if it's got one of them, you can go to shipyard and you can build some ships. So we've got science ships, construction ships, um, and your defensive ships. As you sort of go through time, you'll want to build more, um, <clears throat> more corvettes to help defend your base. I also want two more science ships. It's good to have two more science ships at the beginning of the game. Anomalous surface variable detected. Again, I've said it so pop-ups mostly appear up here, but don't worry about that for now. Now look, we've got notifications up here. <clears throat> we've got another tradition that's available. So we can go for that one, that one, or we can select a different tra um, tradition. So I'm going to select um, this one, which says star base influence cost reduced by 10%. Oh, actually, we've got another tradition available. Admin capacity increased by 20. So that's good. Again, don't worry about what they do right now too much, um, because you'll kind of figure it out later on. So, okay, let's say we want to build a, a star base here, right? Now. I control this <coughs> area because I kind of built like the most basic um, star base. But let's say we want to upgrade the star base. We click on this um, icon here. We go to star base and we click upgrade. And basically, this star base will be transformed into a um, bigger star base like this one. Okay, cool. So that's um most of what's happening so just pay attention to your notifications up the top left um, okay now you can see we've got two more science ships which are good um, so they're gonna need people in the um, or leaders in the science ship so we're gonna click on a science ship we're gonna look down here it says assign leader so we're gonna click assign leader um, we don't have one free at the moment, so we need to recruit one. So I'm going to click recruit. Then I'm going to choose one. These are the bonuses that they give, but it doesn't really matter. So we've chosen one. So now the um, science ship is ready to go. Let's click on survey. Again, I'm going to hold the shift key and I'm going to click on the planets I want it to survey. And obviously, two science ships exploring is faster than one. <clears throat> Brilliant. Now look, our construction ship's doing nothing. Okay, being lazy, so I'm going to break. Um, so I'm going to right-click up here. Actually, wait, before that, I'm going to right-click on here, and I'm going to click Build Mining Station, and still holding Shift, Build Research Station. I'm going to go here and Build Starbase, okay? Now you might notice um, that as these science ships explore, there's these pop-ups. Um, there are things that you can kind of research um, in that sector, so I generally just click research and let it get on with it. 
We've also got another science ship, so let's do exactly the same. Recruit and we'll get it to explore down here. It doesn't matter if the exploration routes overlap. Um, the AI will just manage that for you. <clears throat> okay, brilliant. So, bear in mind, at the moment, there's only 3 of 20 um, military ships that we have, okay? Um, so, pretty soon I'm probably going to want to get more, because, um, I mean, the AI in this shouldn't be a problem, because we kind of set it to um, the easiest difficulty. But, uh, yeah, I wonder if I should jump ahead in this video. The um, enemy here, or my potential friend, has popped up, and they're just over here. So um, they've been here all along, but we couldn't, we just couldn't see them. So I've just um, continued to expand. Now, one of the things I should mention is you need to manage your planets. Okay, so click up here. This is your planet. Okay, um, let's double click on the planet. So this is our um, home world. Okay, it's called Zero One. So again, we're going to click back up here. This is the planet screen. Now, let's go through it very quickly. Um, here are the um, housing, basically. They're called Nexus Districts here. These all provide five housing each, one maintenance drone job and a tech drone job, okay? So, yeah, these are um, where the people live. Um, these are the um, generator districts. They provide two housing and two energy jobs. Um, mining district, two housing, two money jobs, and farming district. And because we're um, a machine intelligence, we don't actually need any um, farming jobs right now, okay? So here are the buildings. The first one's always the administration building. So um, this can be upgraded later on to um, unlock various buildings. This is your research lab, um, your alloy foundry, which basically produces um, these, which like I say can be used for building star bases or um, ships. Uh, your machine assembly plant, which is here. Um, so these will produce machine population. Normally you wouldn't have this if you were an um, organic empire, but yeah, these just um, speed up building like more robots. So you might see we've got four empty slots here, and we've also got some um, empty buildings over here. Now if you look at this tab over here, okay, um, let's go through. Um, well, you don't really need to know much about these. Deviancy is uh, criminality, basically. Housing. A housing is, well, minus one, so we need to have one more house for someone. Amenities, 13. Again, don't need to worry about this too much, but um, amenities create happiness, basically. Um, now, this is the most important one. Um, available jobs, so this is unemployment. Um, these, this symbol here right because it's in red it means that um we've got some um, unemployed population right so basically they're just using resources and they're producing nothing um a menial dro drone unemployment <clears throat> and again we need more housing so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say what resource do we need okay we need, need all resources but let's just go with another housing district right that'll provide five housing and we'll go for a generator district because we're machines and machines use a lot of energy so uh, that's good I'm gonna come down to the building slot and yeah clicking on this slot basically lets you select what you want to build so we're gonna say okay what do we need well we're gonna need some more alloys for building ships normally um, you might need consumer goods so you would build um, consumer good factories but because we're machines we don't need consumer goods it's nice and simple so let's um, select 
alloy foundry and a research lab okay there's various icons up here for example law enforcement mining or resources um, manufacturing army etc okay so that's gonna um, fix our unemployment problem when these are built and that'll be good um, now important tip don't build too many buildings okay all at once because buildings cost money okay or money and energy whatever they're the same thing in this game so if you build too many buildings or too many districts you're basically paying maintenance for them but you're not getting any use out of them because you don't have enough population to keep them going um, so that's um, a really good tip so population tab um, this is where our um, populations are and what they're working on so as you can see we've got two population working on calculations in our science lab um, fabricators working on creating more um, alloys um, replicators creating more robots menial drones you get the idea look they use the wrong symbol in that but don't worry about this but yeah they did use the wrong symbol <laughs> Silly game developers. Okay. So as you can see, right? We've built some housing and we've built some generator districts. And our um, unemployment rate's going down, which is good. We're going to build the alloy foundry and the research lab. Great. So I'm playing quite slowly, deliberately. So society research, all of our research is done. Now this isn't a problem, right, because when research is done, you start getting research credits. You don't need to worry about it too much, but basically it takes some time off um, the next thing you research. So we're going to go for blue laser. These will um, improve your ships. We're going to go for food processing. Actually, no, food processing facility is pointless because we don't use food. Um, more defense power is good, um, but we're going to go for this one, which gives us more edicts. Engineering, let's go for plus 20% minerals, okay? That's good. So again, we're going to um, come back to this screen, and we're going to click on hot join protocols, whatever. Look, these are all complete now, so we've completed the expansion tree and the ascension perks have popped up so we're gonna click on this and we're gonna have a little look through now basically um, these are sort of minor bonuses to your civilization but these are a bit more major so let's um, you can have a read of these yourself I'm gonna go for technolo technological ascendancy okay on this um, occasion because it is going to give me plus 10% research speed and it's going to give me more rare technologies which is good so yeah we, we've we now got technological ascendancy you can't change this bonus by the way so choose carefully so as you can see um, the enemy here has grown quite big um, and we haven't been expanding very quickly because I've been talking and not concentrating at all which is fine so again I'm just holding shift and I'm just issuing some orders for this um for this to follow now you can build multiple construction ships and I would usually recommend it again this ship right can't enter um oh it can enter the territory here okay brilliant but if it couldn't enter the territory and it was stuck here we can go down here to disband, right? Which would destroy the ship. And we could then build another ship and we could put in the same um, leader into the new ship and it would respawn over here, basically. So, yeah, you might notice we've got two different um, AIs here. So let's say hello. So we're going to click on the... This, basically, is a... Um, star system with a planet that's occupied and with a station so we are going to click on the 
planet icon here. Okay, and these are the um, aliens. Now, at the moment, their fleet power is overwhelming. I got this just by mousing over here. Their fleet power is overwhelming, so they've got a lot more ships than we do. But their economy and technology levels are the same. So, we're going to talk to them. And what do they think of us? They think we high border friction and new contact. And again, they are a hive mind. So interesting. They're sort of the biological equivalent of our um, species. So we are going to. Um, okay, these are the options what you can do. You can declare war on them, um, you can make a claim. Um, now we're. Um, let's make. Um, basically, when you go to war. Um, normally you make claims on the enemy land um, and then when you go to war if you win the war you get what you um, claimed okay so I'm going to click on make claim if I want to make claim it's gonna cost me influence so I might click on here and here and here however much territory I want basically but at the moment I'm just gonna talk to them so offer a trade deal so again, we can give them things, they can give us, us things. Um, we want them to like us, we could go energy credit and... So a thousand energy credit is going to make them 35 like us, okay? Again, I held um, shift... Sorry, I held um, control and shift to basically move up a thousand. So, again, you don't have to do this, but I want them to be friendly, so I'm going to click Confirm. They've accepted our offer, um, so now they're plus 19, which means they like us, basically. Which is good. Um, now, if I had um, really good relations with them, I could start entering, um, for example, a research agreement, but... I would need 42 more um, them liking us um, in order to get the research agreement. So at the moment we don't really have that, which is fine. So again, um, my notifications are piling up up here, so you need to keep on top of these. Um, Again, don't worry too much about this um, stuff. You'll kind of learn it as you go along. Um, automatic exploration is good. That means our ships, our science ships will explore. So again, we're back to this screen. We've got to choose a second um, school. So um, I'm going to go versatility. That's always quite good. You might have diplomacy here. So let's say we want to go to war with these guys. Oh, very quickly, these, this um, AI, okay, they're, um, they're an ancient civilization or whatever, um, ancient caretakers, so um, these are basically extremely powerful uh, opponents, they won't expand and they'll typically leave you alone, sometimes they might blackmail you or try to take your stuff, like, but yeah, they're best um, ignored until the end game. Obviously, they are completely overwhelming so we can't attack them or do anything. Um, so for now we're just going to completely ignore them. Okay, so let's say yeah, we want to um, attack these guys. Okay, we... Um, this is important to know I guess. Let's just go through these quickly. Like I say, normally um, I'd be probably a lot further along by now, but you know, it doesn't really matter for this tutorial. 
So, okay, I'm clicking on the science ships. You might see that um, there's this symbol here, the exclamation mark. So I'm going to right-click on this sector. The research products in sector. I'm also going to still holding shift. Survey system. And I'm going to do the same here. Research projects in system. So these will be researched. Okay, brilliant. And... I'm going to build a star base and another star base and another star base. See you what? Let's um Okay, you can click on basically these to make them appear or hide. So if I click sectors, this will make my sector appear or hide. Um or same with shipyards. I'm gonna go to my shipyard. I'm going to build um Ten Corvettes, okay. Um, so I've got a lot of um, alloys up here which have been saved. So again, um, this star base, if you remember a while ago, um, we built this star base down here. We now need to put things in the star base. So we're going to click on these here. We're going to go sit, um, click on Anchorage. Anchorage. And what these will do, they will increase our naval capacity, which is up here. The naval capacity is how many ships we can have. If you go over your naval capacity, then you suffer a sort of penalty with resources. The next one is star base capacity. How many star bases can I have? So at the moment I have two, which is this one and this one. I can have four. So again, just to reiterate, um, if I wanted to build another one, I would click on where I want it. I would click on this symbol. I would click on upgrade. Awesome. Now, look, there's another planet here. So if we want to expand, we click on the planet. We'll go colonize. We'll click on um, the species we want to colonize with. At the moment, we only have one species because we're machines. So we click on yes. And then a ship from here will be built. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, the colony ship is here in the build queue. So the colony ship will build and it will automatically go and colonize this planet for us. So again, this is our um, construction ship. We can have multiple construction ships, but I'm going to just get it to holding shift. I'm just going to get it to build um, all the mining and research outposts. Okay, so we're going to go back to our planet. You might notice we've still got um, four menial drones, okay, that are unemployed. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on, um, we could just build on our own if we want to, or you can click on automation, okay. And now what we're going to do, we're going to go over to the left here, we're going to click on planets and sectors, we're going to come up to the top. And I'm going to hold down shift. Sorry. I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to click here. What this is doing is transferring my um, energy and minerals into a pot here. Okay. This button up top, yeah. Shared stockpile. Now, what I'm going to do is there's already a. Um, there's already someone here kind of controlling the. Um, sort of area. So I'm going to click on sector settings and I'm going to click on balance focus. Okay. Um, so what this is going to do is because I've click on, clicked on automation on the planet, um, this guy is going to automatically try to balance all my resources and also um, it's going to keep the planet, um, you know, reasonably well um, automatically. So we don't have to worry about the planet so much anymore. You can see it's automatically doing things. So it's um, removing um, strip mines and things. Again, I've just clicked on this um, symbol over here. So if we want to um, remove the long abandoned city, we can click here. It's going to cost us 300 energy. Um, and what this is going to do is it's going if you look at um, these boxes here are kind of filled in. 
So basically it's going to make these become available so we can actually have more mining districts on the planet. Okay, I'm just going to obviously catch up. Now it's important to always do your notifications even if you're in war. Um, it's sort of important to um, keep you um, keep your nation going. So again, I went for versatility. Let's go for pop housing usage reduced by 10%. Very good. What that means briefly is um, if I click on um, I've clicked on population. I've scrolled over this guy. Um, his habitability is 100%. His housing needs is 0.8, so he only needs 0.8 of a house, um, but he needs one amenities. Um, his happiness, he doesn't have any happiness because he's a machine. We've got one in unemployed, which is sort of represented here. Anyway, our planet's being taken care of automatically. So... Let's upgrade this star base up here. It's probably worth upgrading your star bases if you've got a planet. We've got a second planet here, which is um, basically being created. So I want to go to war. So as you can see, um, I'm going to click on these star bases over here, build more anchorage which allows me to um, build more naval capacity. I'm going to come down here, which has the shipyard, and we're going to build a bunch more corvettes. Okay, so we're going to go to war with these guys. Now the other thing that we'll probably need is troops. So I'm going to click on the um, planet symbol here, and I'm going to go population, sorry, I'm going to click on the station symbol here. And I'm... Oh, I've lost the symbol. Sorry, yeah. Third slot, armies, okay. Then I'm going to click on recruit. And... So one army costs 100 um, minerals, which is fine. So I'm going to build... About 15 of these. 20 for good luck. Okay, now as you can see, um, we're constructing ships. They're appearing here. And what we can do is we can click on these two, hold shift and you can select both of them. And we're gonna go merge. Okay. Now what merge does is it, um, merges for two different um, ships into one, basically. So now we've got um, 20 here. Now these ships can be upgraded, so we're gonna, well, click on this obviously and click on upgrade. Then what it's gonna do is the ships are gonna go um, back to the home um, world, wherever your um, construction yard is, and we can have a little look. Upgrades are down the bottom here. Again, if you want to have faster um, shipyards, then use two shipyards. I don't really pay much attention to that stuff. But you can, it's good to read. Look, our influence is full, so we're going to click on the influence button here. We're going to click on the top two, and the third one just wastes some influence. <laughs> So this increases um, pop construction speed, um, leader experience gain, that sort of thing. Now let's go to the market. The market's really important. So I've just clicked anywhere at the top here on these resources. Now let's say that we don't have enough um, minerals for some reason. Okay, We can click on the um, plus symbol here. And it's going to buy 1,000 minerals, but it's going to cost us 1,417 energy. So we're kind of going to lose resources overall. 
but that's okay because we need to keep the economy balanced. At the moment the economy is fine, but like I say, this is a simplified game really because we've chosen an AI empire. So yeah, so we've got only three at the moment, so let's say we want to sell some alloys. We're going to get 687, so we're going to click here. And as you can see, the uh, energy goes up, the alloys go down. Later in the game you've got the safe market, which is down here, but we're not going to really bother with that because you don't really need to. Um, no wait, it's, if you get fleet command limit plus 20, it's always worth doing this, right? Because um, there's two different metrics. There's um, the overall um, sort of naval capacity, but the fleet command limit is um, how many ships you can have in like one grouping. So at the moment it's 20, but when we research this, it's going to go up to 40, and that'll give us a, an advantage in combat. So again, we want bigger ships. So we're going to select um, Destroyer. All the um, research choices are randomly generated, so you never know what you're going to get. Because Dolaris is like a box of chocolates, I guess. So again, our science ships are basically um, not doing much. So, oh, this either probably died or didn't exist or something. Um, so now we've researched the technology that lets us explore automatically. So I'm just going to click um, click that button and we're going to go off exploring automatically. And let's um, get our construction ships to... Build some more stuff. I don't know why I've got four science ships. That's interesting. And one of the things you can do with a science ship is if you've got too many you can click on your planet screen, go to your planet, wherever it is, double click on the planet to um, basically see where it is, and we're going to click on the science ship, right click on the planet, and assist research. So now the science ship is, is going to go to the planet and it's going to give it about a 10% research boost, so that's quite significant. Again, how's our um, naval capacity? So we've got. We can have another six. Let's see our relative power. Okay, so we've got about the same fleet level power as us. If you want to increase the overall naval capacity, um, like I say, I've built some um, star bases here. So we're going to build some more anchorage. So let's see what the anchorage do quickly. So they increase the naval capacity by four. Okay, it's so very really good to have. The other building that's really good to have is, these are the defensive buildings, okay? Hangar bay, missile bay, gun, battery. Um, they're useful if um, your star base is up against the um, borders of another empire and you kind of want a little bit of a defense bonus. Um, then the shipyard obviously produces ship. And you've got either the trade um, object or um, solar panel network. Solar panel network basically gives you plus free energy, but the trade network basically expands your trade um, network. But yeah, broadly speaking, it generates money. Okay, so we're a machine empire, so so we use the solar panels instead of trade because we're antisocial. So that's fine. So again, you might notice at the top here, 
our energy is in deficit, okay? This is probably because we've been building a lot of ships and we don't really have that much um, territory or um, sort of planetary stuff to um, kind of generate energy. So, first thing we can do is if the um, energy was at zero, this gives us, um, like, this affects the, um, this affects our ships. So if the energy was zero, we would sell some minerals or something, which would put the um, energy up and stop us going into sort of debt or whatever, energy debt, um, which like I say affects the quality of our ships. So expanding our territory will help with um, energy generation. Um, like I say, building those solar panels will help. So we found another world. Um, an ocean world here, which is interesting. Now, one tip that's really useful, if you hold shift and control at the same time, it means the next order you give will be the first order that the thing does. So, I've held shift and control, now it's going to build this first before it does anything else. It's really good to know. So again, we need more energy, so we're thinking we don't really have any um, unemployed pops, but we could build more generator districts here. The other thing we could do potentially... Oh. System survey complete. System survey complete. So this is the other planet. Um, we're going to build two generator districts, or just one. Market free reduced by 10%. Okay. So now we've researched destroyers, right? Which are a bigger kind of ship. Um. Anyway, these are our two um, military fleets. I'm just going to build a few more destroyers just to get us up to um, sort of a, um, well, just to have more ships basically. Again, sorry, I'm just going through these, blah, blah, blah. Oops. Sorry. So I'm thinking I need more energy, like pretty desperately. So I'm going to build a few more construction ships and I'm going to take these planets here. Um, a lot of them have energy, five energy, two energy, three energy, four energy. So that won't be so bad. At the moment, I think because I've got a lot of ships and actually I've got too many ships, um, it's causing um, energy shortages and things. So I'm gonna get my um, ships and I'm gonna go to war with this guy. Just to show you guys how to um, have a war. Which is kind of important to know. First thing is, look at the relative strength. So click on the um, enemy um, planet and scroll down here fleet power of the enemy is inferior okay that means that my fleet is superior um so that's gonna be great um so now we're gonna say hey you okay first of all we need to make claims okay so we've got 913 influence so we're going to claim the um areas of the enemy base that we want I'm going to claim bees, and I'm just going to have a look at his base. So, in order to win the war, like, totally win the war, we need to wipe out all of his planets. So, he only has one planet, so this should be quite simple. Still, I'm going to claim bees too. Then I'm going to declare war. 
So conquer a claim. We've um you can manage your claims down here in the war screen. We're gonna declare war. So now we're at war, okay? So we're gonna come over here, shift and click our two military fleets. Actually, first thing is we are going to put leaders in our ships. So <clears throat> click on the um, ships you want, go to assign leader over here, click that, click recruit and click your military leader. So the military leader is going to give um, a small bonus to um, your fleet. Okay. Again, we're going to click these two and we're going to hold shift and I'm going to click here and here and here and here. Let's just see what it does. Now it's important that you don't click on the enemy base right away because they will quite often um, skip over um, this um, so they might skip this um, area and not take this um, star system and that will be bad because we want to get our um, transport fleet in. So now that our ships are sort of taking these um, star systems, again you don't really need to worry about um, assigning a leader to, um, to your armies but you can, let's just do it for um, this guy's plus 30% morale. Great. So make sure your um, armies don't go in first, basically. They want to go in second. Because, okay, now um, so we've clicked on this. This is the battle that's going on. So these are our two fleets. We've now taken the enemy territory. Now remember we made claims. Now let's go to the claim screen. So we're going to go to the left here. And we're going to go down the bottom and we're going to click claims. So we've got claims for all these planets. So when we take the enemy, we will want to um, basically own this territory. So I'm sending my um, ships out to take the territory. Now bear in mind this is on the simplest difficulty. So I've clicked spacebar to pause it. Um, here we have the um, enemy fleet. They're coming in strong. And here are our two fleets. So we're actually stronger. Oi! Best to keep the enemy fleet, to your fleet together. Because basically you want to... Um, there's power in numbers, right? This game's all about numbers. Okay. So this is good. Now, we've destroyed the enemy ships. They've um, not completely been destroyed, but basically most of the ships have been destroyed. And the um, ones that weren't um, destroyed have gone into hyper, sh hyper um, warp. So they're gone, um, but they're going to reappear at the enemy base eventually. Um... And they've left us with a research project. Now we can get one of our research researchers. We can right click on here and click research. Now basically that's going to give us some of the enemy's technology, which is good. Specifically ship technology. And bear in mind this is where the enemy planet is. Now at this point if I wanted to I could actually claim more of the enemy territory. If you scroll down to the bottom you'll see armies. Okay, you might need to scroll with the mouse wheel. Um, now, they're in the enemy system. So I'm going to press pause to um, pause the game or whatever. I'm going to right click on here and click land armies, okay? With my transport ship. Now you'll notice at the top here we've got the invasion logo uh, icon. <clears throat> so we're going to click that. Brings up the enemy planet. And we're going to go armies. Now these are our guys, okay? V 
these would be 20 um, soldiers that we produced earlier. Um, these would be defending um, enemies. We're just going to let it run out. Let it play, see what happens. Oh look, we are taking the planet. Excellent. Excellent, so now we've taken the planet. Now bear in mind, right, um, the enemy hasn't been defeated yet, right? Um, so what we're going to do, because we own, um, we've invaded all of these sectors, we, um, you know, that's good. We're going to, I'm going to come down here. Um, this is the um, war status. And because I've taken all the areas I want, I'm going to click on settle status quo, okay? And send offer. Now the enemy has accepted, and because we've taken the enemy planet, the rest of the star systems have vanished. So now we've got another planet down here, we've um, successfully destroyed the enemy. We can go down the bottom here and look at species. So here's our species, there's the um, enemy species. Now unfortunately, we can't do anything with them. Normally you can click set rights and you can change the rights of um, people, but um, yeah, because these are hive minded, right, they can't survive without the hive mind, so we've now destroyed the hive mind. So now they have to be exterminated, we've got no choice about it. So we can either go for chemical processing, which turns them into batteries basically, um, and they slowly die. Or we can just go for speedy extermination, which will just kill them. So we're going to leave chemical processing on here. They'll be converted into energy. Now you might notice our energy up here is shot up to 166 because we're a machine empire. Um, so we're basically converting the enemy population into energy. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is the end of the tutorial, guys. Um, really hope you enjoyed this game. Um, I highly recommend that you um, do a very similar sort of game to this, uh, just to learn the basics. If there's anything else you'd like to know, honestly, leave me a comment and I will make another video covering it. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and uh, goodbye. Hey guys, just wanted to give you a massive thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe, um, give this a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. It's up to you entirely. But uh, yeah, please uh, let me know in the comments what you thought. And thank you very much for watching.